ready to go. Ready to go. Up and running. Let's get a, let's get a logo up there. Which one? What's this about? Yeah, when you leave the house, you can't be leaving the house with a different type of attitude. You got to have the mentality leaving the house. Very if true. you don't have the mentality leaving the house, you might as well stay in the bed. Very true. Hey, um, Danny DiLiberto, he once said, I believe he was commentating on a Steinway Billiards match. He said, if you can be comfortable all you want, but if you want to be comfortable, you might as well go home and lay on the couch. Yeah, I agree. If you got an opportunity to play, you got an opportunity to win. Very true. Nothing else exists, nothing else matters. Here we go. We got Ramos and Truman on table one. Uh, I don't know what the race is, but we're going to give you the count as we go. I think uh, Vilmos is playing to a six, and he is playing to five. So that's why it's good to have young ears in the booth with me. I'm an old man now. I can't remember, but I can hear everything now. I got a youngster sitting next to me. <laughs> six to five is where we're going. Vilmos is going to six. Truman's going to five. I guess it's going to be the winner got the breaks? Yes. Here we go. This cat Vilmos uh, yesterday played a little one pocket. Uh, I don't think he finished in the money, but my point is him and uh, his cousin is probably starting to play a lot more one pocket. I know Chris is playing a little more one pocket or is interested in one pocket. Uh, a lot of youngsters. I think Truman should be playing without shoes on. <laughs> I was gonna, no, no, I was gonna get to that. Um, a lot of youngsters now started to take up the uh, art of playing one pocket. I know we playing nine ball, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. It's probably gonna go two rails and kick that one ball, one ball up and hope the rock stays down there on Bronzewood Boulevard. Yeah. Oh, he missed it. Just so that you know, yeah. the uh, front of the table, that's Diamond Boulevard. The back of the table, that's Diamond Avenue. Okay. You're in Bronzewood Park, though. So all in Bronzewood, baby. <laughs> <Fader. laughs> huh? yeah. That's keeping it 100. Just missed it. Truman is um, one of those cats that uh, plays with an extreme amount of confidence. And he shoots with an extreme amount of confidence. Oh, yeah. Can be good, can be bad. But he plays fearful. I was watching uh, Truman playing on table six. He spun around, I believe, six rails. Get louder, get louder. Okay. And he was doing what on table six? Uh, I saw Truman, he was spinning around. He, he made a, a very nice shot. I believe he spun around either four or five rails, maybe even six. Mm -hmm. Very strong player and knows the table very well. Real colorful cat. Um, Jesus, as I said it, the commentator's jinx. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you can't leave anything for Vemos. He's too good. He had him too. Yeah. He had him. Yeah. One thing I've noticed watching Vemos is he's not a fast player, but he's very consistent. He rarely has a bad day. Well, you, know, you got to remember the game that you guys play, which is nine ball. Every shot is a different situation. And the 
opportunity to pocket the next ball depends on how you deal with that present situation. Very true. Yes. See? So you cannot let the situation bring nervousness or indecisiveness mm -hmm. to you mentally. Very true. Once it does that, you have lost the game. Absolutely. Yo, Pino, what's going on? I asked about you earlier. John, you know I asked about you earlier, but I know what you was doing. <laughs> Cosmo, I'm back in the room. Do your guru, what's going on? Bait killer. The score is one to one. Uh, it's over 40 people, over 40 players, 45 players. So you have uh, the back six tables in Bronswick Park. You got the back six condos in action. You got the other 10 condos on the other side in action. Uh, you got some people standing around because they got buys. <laughs> a buy is a tough situation because you could be waiting hours for a match and you may have warmed up in the beginning of the tournament, but then you can just get cold by the time your match comes. So That's correct. Now listen, youngster, while we're sitting here, when it's time to say something, open your mouth, say it. Okay. Don't, don't, don't hesitate. You got a few ladies here. Hiroko, Makiyama, she's here. I saw Jenny Lee. Brooke Thompson, she's here. Uh, quite a few women here. I think about five or six women are here taking in the event today. There are, there are many women, but they're all very consistent players. Correct. Uh, Jenny Lee is probably your action player. The tournament is something she do to practice, but she's probably going to be looking for some action or going to be in action. I'm surprised there's so many people here today in this venue. Just a opportunity there. Close Truman, shot. Truman right here can yeah. close the show. So, yeah. He can close the show. And these are the opportunities that you got to take advantage of. Oh, yeah. You got to calm yourself down. Absolutely. Go through your routine. Don't speed up. See what happens when you speed up? Look. Yeah. See what happens? Eyes left himself. Yeah. See? Mm hmm But yeah. he was supposed to slow himself down. Remember what he's doing and yeah. get to where he need to be. Absolutely. That shot looks like he didn't know where he needed to be. Yeah. Personal on that shot would have taken draw two rails back. Come back the other way. That's correct. So I believe it's safe to say that he gave away two games. Oh, yeah. You can't. first game and this game. Yeah. You can't do that playing this cat. Yeah. Vilmos is a very strong player. That's correct. You can't do that playing this cat. I played him over at uh, Plush Pocket uh, last month, I believe, and he only missed twice. Mm -hmm. Did not miss the rest of the game. Yeah. But see, you shouldn't remember how many times he missed. <laughs> you should remember why he was there, how yeah. he got there to miss. That's what you should remember. Absolutely. And don't make that mistake again. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Very nice jump shot. What the fuck? <laughs> get the roll, get the roll. Come on, go. Oh, I did Damn. not get there. He shot a hell of a shot. That was a beautiful shot. Looks like he's gonna use jump cue again. Man, that's that's that was a tremendous shot not to get the roll. Yeah. Man, he should have got the roll right there. That was a nice shot. He must go. He must be thinking about going to the rail. Yeah. Yeah. 
and putting them. He's going to try to put the five ball down there by the nine. Yeah. And uh, lead a rock up here behind the eight and the nine as a defensive shot. That's what yeah. I'm thinking. That's, yeah. Oh, he went to rock. What the heck? No, no. Not to. Oh, 50 yard line. Well, I'm not going to criticize it because I don't play nine ball. But what, what was that? I don't know. I would have come one rail past the eight, knocked it up table because then you have the eight ball for cover. That's correct. Yeah. But people in pressure situations don't always think how they usually would. So I see you learned something from that shot, didn't you? Yes, I did. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Situations. Mm -hmm. Now he's got a situation. Why? Because he want to cut the fire ball. Yeah. He wants to cut the fire ball. That's tough. I would hit the five ball about a quarter ball and send the uh, cue ball right next to that nine. And just send the five ball one rail out. Ooh. Very nice shot. Mm -hmm. Now, you got to remember, these cats can make small mistakes. Why? They can make small mistakes because they got the firepower mm -hmm. to cover. Yeah. Truman gave away this game. Yeah. And he just conceded. And then let me tell you something, man. Never. Give up you game. know me. You know who I am. Yeah. I bet not ever see you concede nothing. Make him shoot the last shot. Always. Something could happen. He can miss Q. He could rattle it. That's Especially on these right. diamond tables. You cannot right. give away anything. You don't give away nothing. I was playing against a gentleman on table 12. He had a straight in. It was the 1 to the 5 to the 9. And he, uh, he missed Q. He left it right there for me. Go ahead. Huh. Let me tell you something, man. Okay, you cast that's been waiting on me in this chat room. Uh, I just now got the screen up. Uh, yeah, that's true with no shoes. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. I'm looking for it right now because uh, Daniel came over here and got things messed up a little bit where I don't have things where I had them at first. But you're right, the concede counter, man. That's one right there. No, I haven't seen Damien here either, Johnny. No, this table ain't hard to get on during the week because uh, nobody plays on the diamond table. It is the <laughs> only diamond table in the whole joint. Nobody plays on it. Nobody. How would you play the three to the five? Just like that. Now watch this. It's not the three to the five. It's once you get to the five, how you get to the six. True. It's probably going to go one rail out right above the That's eight correct. ball. That's correct. And probably draw down for it depending on the angle. Depends on what side you get on the five. Oh. Out of line. Yeah. Now look what happens. It's going to be very hard to get to the eight ball if that rock lays on that bottom rail. Oh, so that is a mistake. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't make. That's not the way to go. Right. This is the third game that he has given away. Absolutely, he's definitely nervous to play against Vilmos. Vilmos is a competitor. He's a very good player. See now. It looks like it's going. There it is. Does that, does, uh, we've I, seen this. Did, that you, did you apologize? Did you say I'm sorry for making that shot? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oops. I'm sorry. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah. Two apiece. 
Is it two apiece or one one? No, two apiece. It's uh, t I think it's two one. Is it? Oh, well, Wilma's one got one. Yeah. Yeah, it was two one. Yeah, it's two one. I believe so. Mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, you can see the uh, uh, tiny wiffle balls up there. It's two one. Mm -hmm. Ah, see? Yeah. Two apiece. Oh, two apiece. That is. He won one, plus he's given up one. Yeah. So yeah. That means, that means Truman got one already. Yeah. And he just won one, so that's two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rumo's already won. Must have won two already because he got two peas up there. Yeah. See, the reason it's so important to, to pay attention right here. Mm hmm. You want to hit this one very soft in case. Just. I tell guys all the time. Ah. Uh, do not send another ball after another ball that's already in the hole yeah. with that kind of, you got to dictate the angle. you got to get the angle correct. Yeah. See, I would uh, thin this three ball right under the six and spin around a couple rails to play, to leave him long. He's going to play the nine. The nine? How would he do that? Let me see. Because of the angle, the three is on the nine. Yes. Okay. Here, look at it live. Look at it live. Oh, yeah. Okay, he shows not to care. But it actually, he could have played that nine ball because of the angle. But he was scared that Rock was going to carry him back to the rail. Yeah. No, Johnny, I haven't seen Attila. Yeah, I remember pool halls had different floors, correct. Some had wood floors, some had what I call hospital floors. This carpet thing didn't come until a little later, I believe. Good safe. Looks like he got away with it. What up, Mark? Mark the assassin. I seen this cat of Vilmos catch a gear though and just man. Ooh. Like he had a a shot of adrenaline and just rushed out. Yeah. He has firepower. Truman is playing with no shoes on, as usual. His socks got to be dirty. Walking on this carpet. Yeah. Can't leave almost anything on this table. He's too good. Yeah. And it doesn't take much to make him look better. <laughs> you know, but did you notice how he missed that shot? I did. He came he up two that. rails. He came he, up too high on the rail. No, oh. he came up too high on the rail. He didn't shoot it. Yeah. He rolled it. But we've been watching him shoot balls in. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. With extreme confidence. And that particular shot, he had no confidence in the shot. He rolled it. Yeah. And you can't let you can't roll a in that situation. You can't roll the ball because no. you know that anything can happen to take the table. Anything can happen. Yeah. You have to be able to uh, want to control it as much as you can. Yeah. In pool and especially such as these giants against Vilmos, you have to have confidence in your shots. Otherwise, that's correct. They know how to exploit your confidence. That's and correct. To, that's correct.
so if we almost will get he, out. Is he going to concede this game? Is he going to concede? <laughs> is he? Let's see. Let's see. Is he going to concede? Let's see if he will. Let's see. He rolled a little far on that one, but it shouldn't be a problem. Is he going to concede? Looks like he will not. That brings us to 3 2, Vilmos. Okay. Hey, Cosmo. All that old train thing. Come on, man. I didn't see any bite the dust in here, man. Come on, man. <laughs> I know you can. But I didn't see any bite the dust. He's. He's cold, but I see him bite the dust. I see Edgy make him bark like a dog. <laughs> and I seen Oscar make him take off running. He's all right, but he, if he's an assassin, he need to go back to assassin school. <laughs> yes. Playing this cat, uh, Truman. Uh, Truman is making it look, uh, or giving him an opportunity to stretch out. He's not playing defense, he's not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So would you play for under the four into the side pocket, or would you try to get a four for an angle down all the way into the bottom? Depends on the roll. I might want to play the four in the side pocket, and the six in the same pocket as the three. Yes. Depends on the roll. In this case, it's the opposite. Yeah. Four ball in the corner, six ball in the corner. Yeah. But now, don't forget, that no, eight ball. So yeah. we got enough angle on the six to get to the eight. Yeah, now he has a proper slide angle. Over a little bit. Yeah. Just like that. Well, you know, you conceded. <sighs> you never concede. I'm not going to say he's at top in the USA either, Cosmo. I'm glad that you and him have a relationship. But you got a lot of cats, man, that see this cat here, man. I mean, he can play and don't get it twisted, but the line is long to see him. Especially them cats from back east. Man. That's right, Badly. He conceded. I think he'll probably uh, play safe. He'll kick the uh, one ball up table and play under the six on this shot for a safety. Yeah, I mean, I ain't taking nothing from the cat, John. Don't get me twisted. I ain't taking nothing from the cat. But to say top 10 in the country that's strong you know you got the Mo Rodney Morris you got Warren you got Dennis you got Hatch wow you know what I mean Ooh. you got cats man that can do this here put him in top 10 is strong if you feel that way about him man that's strong edgy man you got He's a, he's a good player, but... In fact, I called a game uh, last month where he uh, won the tournament. Really? And... Uh, like I said earlier... Wow. Beautiful shot. Like Looks he's going to fall into the eight, though. The, uh, yeah, there he goes. See, now he's going to tell us where he should have been. 
I personally, I would have played. I would have played the safe under the six. Cool hustler. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> man, this dude ain't that strong, man. You got a lot of cats in front of him. All them cats there laying to see him. Anytime he gets some kind of cheese, they'll see him. Now, I was here when he beat uh, Attila. Really? I called it. But you got a whole lot of cats calling about top ten, man. You finna start a war. Yeah, very good player. Very strong. Looks like Look at he this. Oh, might I'm sorry. make it. No, he didn't. I thought that was one of those I'm sorry shots. <laughs> yeah. Johnny Nine Ball. Uh, uh, you know, we, we got a local that did something bad to him a month or two back. Johnny Kane. <laughs> 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 you know? Yeah. And in the tournament, the mess too, I believe. Johnny did something to him bad. Yes. So, uh, he is a very, very strong player. Yes, he is. A couple uh, months ago, actually, I played Kang on table eight, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. He made some mistakes, which was very uncharacteristic for him. I talked to one of his friends after the match. He said he seemed distracted for the past couple of weeks, but he sure didn't play like that. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny Kane's a very strong player. And he's going to shoot the ball with extreme confidence. Oh, yeah. Very strong player. Very consistent. Looks like he'll get this game. Notice he didn't concede it either. <laughs> You'll never see a professional concede unless they're down quite a heavy set of games. To ex even to accept a concede puts you in a wrong frame of mind mm -hmm. to win. Absolutely. You know? Puts you in a, my opinion, puts you in a wrong frame of mind. Uh, well, pool is a very mental game, and once they get you off your mental game, you've already lost the match. It's very easy to get off your mental game. Go three to four. Eight ball in the corner. He should be going from here. There's no, there's no problems on the table other than the five ball. The five ball should not be a problem. Yeah. Does the uh, two ball pass the four into the corner? shooting it like it does. Right, it does go. But the thing is, he's got to, he's, he cannot come in contact with another ball. Absolutely. This run out is, it should not be tampered with this run out because every ball has a pocket. That's correct. He should not come in contact with another ball at all. Just four ball, a little bit inside English up to the five. Look. Oh. Look. What's he doing? He was on angle anyway. Yeah. He was off angle. That's why that happened. Yeah. I don't know. He could carry him off the underside of the he, he, he shouldn't be in that position. Look at that ball hold up. Did the seven block the nine? Uh, he got a little bit of luck. He got a little bit of luck with the uh, seven nine. That ball hanging up like that is very unusual. I mean, it is sitting on the on the mouth. I mean, what's a good way to like after he runs out of the balls? What's the best way to play this seven nine? Well, if it was me, after I pocket the four ball, the five ball will go in the same pocket. So you got to get back up here, put some put some spin to it. Come to the side pocket and come on the side. Just like so. Just 
like so. Yes. You know what he's thinking about now, right? Yes. What? He's thinking about how to break up the seven, where he got to be on the six yeah. to break up the seven. Oh, a, probably just slide under. It's a little straight. That's what he's thinking about how to get there. This is not an easy ball to break up. Easy balls to break up. Hey, uh, what's up, poor man? I'm watching uh, Cosmo and uh, Johnny Nine go at it. Oh, just yeah. missed it. That was what he was attempting to to do or think about when he was playing that six ball. Yeah. He's not going to be able to hide behind the seven. Wow. Very nice shot. You take a foul here. Ball in hand. Oh, no. I would... Huh? You... Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, I couldn't hear you. Would you take a ball... Would you take a foul here? Ball in hand, put the uh, line in the center? Hmm. Doesn't look like he's gonna. I just gave up the game. Uh, personally, I would've... Locked actually, yeah. I would've... Center. Yeah, that was probably the best option he could've done. Concede. Bradley, another concede. Man. So the score is 3-5, to five, I believe? Uh, no, it's five to three. Okay. Vilmos is ahead. We we'll decide to put the nine ball right on top of the seven. Take the foul. Absolutely. Make him do something else again, but play the game. Yeah. On this shot, I would uh, thin the one with some bottom left-hand English and spin, try to spin near the 6-9, uh, 5-8. Uh -uh. How would you play it? Play the one down into the five, put the rock on this corner pocket over here, and let the three and the four as blockers. Okay. Let's see what you're saying. See, that's ridiculous. I wouldn't even shot that shot. Oh, uh, yeah. I see shoot that. that shot for him. Huh. I'd have put the one down there behind the five or the four and left the rock up here behind the three and the four. Yeah. But the one ball would have been down there by the six, five, and eight. He shouldn't have any problems getting out of this rack. Just the th two to the three should uh, clear up the rest of the rack.
I believe if Filmos runs the out, this out, the match should be over. And he conceded. He concedes the game. How many games did he concede? Four. At least three or four, yeah. I've been nervous to see you concede a game. He could have made that eight ball and knocked the nine ball out of, out of place where he couldn't pocket it. Absolutely. Well, very good play on Vilmos' part. Harmon. All right, table one is now available. Vilmos beats Truman. Conceded games. All right, three. Three conceded games. Ooh. Bradley's count is four. Oh, Conceit Bradley's four. Brad's, Bradley's count is four. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, more matches coming on the way. Streaming all day, guys. Uh, I want to thank Spencer and Box, and we'll be right back. And Vilmush. We definitely want to thank Vilmush. <laughs> <laughs> we will be right back. Do you happen to hear that? Uh, looks like table one, we got Alex and somebody else, but uh, no, Dave not Alex, Pagalion. Dave Yeah, oh, Dave. Like Dave, Dave, who so. are you playing, Dave? Alex G. Oh, Alex, yeah, he's he's a cool guy, he's a cool guy. All right, Alex, Alex and uh, Dave Hemma coming right up.